Madagascar is one of the poorest countries on the planet, allowing nature to hide its biggest jewels. A place where people learn to use the minimum tools to achieve maximum possible effects. Going to Ilonad from the mainland, we first have to take a ferry to San Marie Island and then a small boat to our final destination. Due to shallow water, the skipper doesn't use paddles but long sticks to push the boat instead. The magic island of pirates welcomes us with picturesque beaches surrounded by crystal clear water. Here also we have a pleasure to meet a local hunter, Edmund. At the age of 63, he can easily be mistaken for a yacht. Every day's work keeps him fit and flexible. It's not his dream, but this is what he does for a living. Every day he's snorkeling the reef with a spear, looking for anything that will support the life of his family. A skill he has learned on his own, a skill that helps to survive. Edmund mostly focuses on hunting octopus, as the local restaurant buys them from him on a regular basis, providing an equivalent of $3 per kilo. It starts when octopus come to the shore to warm themselves up in the morning sun of the shallow reef waters. Although it's already afternoon and all octopus might have already left, our local friend agrees to show me his work. When we set off, Edmund is equipped with a bag, spike and a metal rod. He also has a snorkeling mask rented from a local resort. I realize he's very fast and I find it hard to keep it up with him. After half an hour of intense snorkeling, I feel totally exhausted. Ten minutes later, I'm about to give it up and return to the shore. Edmund doesn't show any signs of doubt and continues the hunt. His persistence is shortly rewarded as he spots the catch. The octopus sees us coming and hides in a hole. But it's too late. The animal fights for its survival and squirts ink towards us, but it's already wounded and cannot escape far away. Now, the steel rod stuns the prey as it can be killed and gutted afterwards. On the shore, it has to be beaten with a stick to soften the muscles. It makes its meat tender and easier for cooking. After the experience, Edmund invites us to join him for a coconut in his village. Although he walks very hard, he still cannot afford a surgery to his blind wife. It's the time to cook our catch of the day in Malagasy style. Sliced, then fried with garlic and boiled in the coconut milk. The dish is delicious and simply amazing.